recap smack and we're doing base building made easy i have found three hot spots as part of this tutorial and we're going to build a base with three hot spots and we're going to have to extend the base so keep watching so here i am i think i've found the center what my uh resource that i'm going to mine is 170 units away my gas is 371, and my power is 469. So I need to even this up a little bit more by heading over towards the hotspot that is the farthest away from the other two. The trick is to get them all pretty close to about the same, and the big win is to get one of them under 200 units if you can. 431, um, 404, and my other, my other one, where's my, oh, the closest one before was, kind of hard to see the purple, it's 230, so I need to head off in this direction a little bit, uh, 408, 427, 415, 420. So it's looking like right about here is where I'm going to plot my base. Put my base computer down. Looks like a nice planet. No sentinels. And now I'm going to claim it. mine and I name my bases based on what I'm mining so that when I want to collect resources it makes it easy on me so we're gonna call this emerald radon Emerald Radon Bill. And that's the name, believe it or not. All right, so we're in kind of a nice area. Um, I'm going to uh, do what I always do and put me a base on stilts because I like stilts. And I usually put a square room up, snap in place. And I'm going to be putting out a little landing pad, so probably going to be away from these trees. Over in this here direction. And that gives me a door. And then I need to build me a landing pad. And let's see, I gotta put my ship somewhere because I got a lot of materials on my ship. Ships can't be anywhere near where you're building for whatever freaky deaky reason. I guess somebody tortured Hello Games over that. And ships gotta be in the next in the next county. I don't understand why, I don't really care why, but I imagine someone tortured someone. And someone put their foot down and said, all right, enough of this.
enough of this shit. Well, I don't have too many. I don't have too many. Well, I'll just build them. No wires or pipes anywhere near your ship. That's the rule. I need to clear some schmutz off. And then I always put up a base teleport module. So I need two more nanotubes. So I can teleport back. And this is in the Eisentam galaxy, so I'm gonna hop galaxy. Because I like hopping galaxy. Hopping galaxy is fun. I always put down one of these biofuel things, even though it might not make sense to y'all, because it's going to tell me about my power grid, and I like to know about power grid. And right now it says no power, because there is no power. And the very next thing I do is figure out how far I am from my power source, which is 400 units, and I'm going to have to stretch wires. And extend wires and do things with wires, and I start with wires. Meanwhile, I need to have this guy in the next county, away from everything, because otherwise it's not going to let me put down wires. So I always start with a wire. And I don't want wires stretching out above things. So I'm going to put this in a place where it's not going to be above a thing. I'm going to stick it below a thing. To begin with. And wires don't really care. I don't mind if wires go through terrain, they can do that all they want. But wires can't be longer than 200 units. So I'm either going to hit the edge of my buildable area, and I'll extend the way I always do, or I'll hit the, the 200 unit length of a wire, and then I'll attach it to the ground and continue. But that's what's going to happen here. Connection too long. So, uh, snap it to the ground. And then pick it up. And drag it along. And the next thing that's going to happen is I'm going to hit the edge of my buildable area. And I'm going to try to extend it by putting down a wire, but you'd have to do that every 50 units. And I don't think I want to do that for another several hundred. So snap my wire there so I can pick it up later. I need to extend another 123 units, and I'm going to do that by putting up a temporary wall. I generally go with stone and then I build my way out to it because well that's just that's just the way I do it. That bypasses the issue of trying to figure out where is the next one supposed to be? If you're gonna put down individual walls, which you can do, you have to make sure they're they're no more than fifty units apart. 
then if there's any gaps, then you're going to hit gaps. This way, I don't hit any gaps. I just build in the direction I want to extend. It takes more buildable items, but these are all temporary. After I lay down my wires and or pipes, I can pick up the temporary stuff and everything's happy. But 123 units is really not a big deal. And you see, I reached where I need to be, and I need to be right here. So then I stick in something to keep it off the ground, because, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter, but it, it kind of does to me. And I go with cuboids because they're easy to extend. And this is just a, this is just a, you know, electromagnetic gizmo. So, and I make them two cuboids high. And I usually generally start with six. Uh, it's a, well, start with four because it's two by two, two by three, so there's six. Yeah. Whatever. You can do it any way you wish. This is how I do it. And then I'm going to want a place to land because I might want to do maintenance or whatever. It almost doesn't matter. Except I need to get rid of some metal plates. So I need to find the center of my hotspot. The center of the hotspot is um, oddly enough, right there. Some people stack vertically. I don't really care. Aren't going to be that many anyway, and it's going to be roughly the same amount. Plus or minus one. And I'm going to need two rows, so... There's very little difference between optimal and suboptimal, or slightly suboptimal in this game. And it just really doesn't matter. But I do like to read my status. So I put down one of these, connect to the wall, and everybody's good. And right now I've got 634K, and I need, you know, 1,500. I'm going to collect one stack every four hours because you know reasons hello games doesn't want players to become infinitely wealthy even though it's easy to become infinitely wealthy regardless Well, that's 1,200, and well, we'll see. And now I can build my two, two processors. And my landing pad. As soon as I lay down my wires, all this temporary stuff is going to come out. So, the last place I laid the wire on the ground is where I start from, so I don't run into issues of 200 units from both directions. This way, the 200 unit thing is happening from one direction. from my base. And 
And believe me, the first time you hit that kind of an issue and you have to do some funny stuff to make it go away, you'll get it. Been there, done that. And now I have power. So I've laid my wire and now I can get rid of all this temporary stuff because I've extended my building rights to the place I need it to be. And when you extend building rights, you get to build 50 units around whatever you built. Now I'm going to go back to my base and make sure that I got power there. We're good to go. But I can see the wire is blue, and that means I've got power. For some reason, I don't have power. Um, and I have power, man. Because I missed something. Now I got power. I'm going to leave the wire in there that was put up incorrectly because sometimes when you delete wires, it will delete a whole crap ton more than you wanted it to. And I don't want to deal with it. I also don't want to test the bug. It's only one wire. Doesn't matter. So now we're going to enjoy having done one of my hot spots. Take care, Biz. This video is sponsored by me, so I'm going to take time to take care of my Biz so I can sponsor the video.
Okay, we've done power. We have power. You can check the stats right here. That's why I put this unit down. Tell me how much is being used and how much I've got. My portal is powered so I can hop galaxies whenever I wish. And now I'm going to build out to my purple thing, wherever the heck that was. Uh, purple should be in that direction. Find the trees. And that is uh, just about 235 units. And I'm going to start by taking a power line in that direction. So I'm just going to draw this one out. And in the direction of my purple save point. And it's going to tell me that I can't go any farther with this connection. I'll snap it to the ground and then press on. Should be coming up shortly. Mm, that's too long. Snap it to the ground. And draw it out. And here we are. Snap it to the ground. Put up my stilts. Because I like stilts. And cuboids. Won't be off in this direction. I can keep away from the trees. So I'm going to put up a landing spot. up a door, build a three by two, and then figure out where the center of my hotspot is, and then proceed. Sure, I need microprocessors. And I do. Um, put that in my after suit. Nanotubes turn to microprocessors. Because why not? Landing pad, snap. away from the trees. The trees will always respawn. And this is mining units. This center is right around here. I need two rows. Doesn't matter. Very little difference between optimal and slightly optimal or slightly suboptimal. I still need, you know, two or three rows of these no matter. And I start building out my uh, supply depots. Put my supply depot area next to these mining units. This is just the way I do it. You can do it any way you wish. My base is back the direction I came. Well, that's why I'm putting these supply units in that direction. Put this one here. I hook up my supply pipes first. 
before I turn on the power. Alright, we got supply pipes. I'm going to power my building. And then I put the uh, connector down here. And extend it straight up to my building. Um, yeah, right there's fine. So now I have power in the building. I'm going to hook up uh, more supply depots because I have seen issues where if you fill up a supply depot, sometimes the game will go nuts. I mean, it won't crash, but I've ended up with situations where things got slightly weird. And then you have to tear down or whatever. I don't want to do that, so. And I'm going to make sure I've got about 10,000 uh, units of ore that can be put in my supply depots. I have a supply depot sitting in my main base so I can collect both the minerals, the emerald, and the gas, the radon, for this base. Without having to come out here to these individual places and pick it up. Okay, that's good for now. Hook up the power and we can see what we got. And of course we have power. The goal is to get 2,500 thereabouts per hour because that's kind of the limit where it starts reducing the efficiency of all the units. So rather than fight City Hall, I'm just going to say, I don't care. I can pick it up four, every four hours. I get a stack every four hours. Doesn't really matter. Not doing this for money. I don't need a billion per day. I don't need eight billion every four hours. I don't need to go crazy. Just want to stack. Again, doesn't got to be super optimal. Not for me, I don't care. As there's very little difference in real terms. That's 2,000, I probably need one or two more. I could probably get away with two more. It doesn't matter where they go. Uh, except I'm gonna need more supply depots. So let's add those next. And I need more metal plating. Which I believe I've got some on my ship. Yes, I do. Uh, to keep it from complaining about pipes being too close to ships. And I don't know why that is. I don't care. I'm going to put my ship down there.
And that's 10,000. I need two more mining units and then we're good. And that's 2577. So anything over that, then the game is going to cut back the efficiency of everything, which I don't need and I don't care. So now I need to run a pipe back from my supply units back to my base. So I need a supply unit to run it into. So I'm going to film that next because I should have already done it, but didn't. And wires in the air, I don't care. Nobody else lives here, and I'm not going to be here that, that often, so I, I, I don't care. And my supply unit for my emerald is going to be here. And my supply unit for my radon is going to be, where is it? It's going to be over there. All right, so radon's going to be there. Emerald is going to be here. Go back to where my emerald is being collected. And um, actually, I generally start running pipes from my base, but um, I've also run into issues with that. So I'm just going to run it from my supply depots where my emerald is being collected. And I'll snap it to the ground if I run into issues with lengths of things. Because there's still a 200 unit limit on lane pipes. So pick one anywhere over here. I'll pick that one. I usually go for minimally aesthetically pleasing. I favor function over form for games. Connection too long, fine. So snap it, pick it up. And I'm going to this side of the building over here. It's going to be over here. Pretty sure. So I'm going to snap it somewhere near the base. Pick it up. And then it's going to snap right there. And that's my arrow. I've got one more hotspot, and that is Radon. Radon, right on. And that 
is over here, so I'm going to draw power out of the same spot in the ground. And head towards my white hot spot. Or I'll probably have to extend. So first I'm going to run into issues with the length of this wire, snap it around, pick it up. And then I'll run into issue with, I've reached the edge of my base, snap it to the ground, extend my base. Connection too long. Snap to the ground, pick it up. I'm about to reach the edge of the base. Base out of range. Snap it to the ground. I'm going to build a temporary wall in the direction I want to go so that the center of the hotspot's in the center of the wall. Build it. Build it. Doesn't matter how high you go. I mean, I generally don't go crazy and try to build a 3,000 unit side, but you know, you probably could. And then I extend in the direction I want to go. Again, this is just my technique. It is not super duper optimal because I don't care. Everything I'm putting down now until I get to where I'm going is temporary. It's gonna get lifted off as soon as I lay my pipes and power. And so I'm gonna build up a little bit and then keep going. Far to go, so all right, so. I've got building rights, 50 units around this particular item that I just laid. And where I'm going is less than 50 units, so I'm good. If you're running into issues where it says you can't build after you've extended, then you need to hop back in your ship, make a save point, reload save, and it will give you your build rights. That has happened this time. So, you know. That's the way it goes. And next I will want a landing pad, and that's going to be two microprocessors. Well, that was fun. Let's try that again. Snap it in place. Now I have a landing pad. 
Where's the center of my hotspot? This is gas. It's radon. I was looking for radon. 36. The center is going to be over in this direction. 37, 38. Yeah, it's right about here. So, again, it really doesn't matter. You can choose the exact center or not. You can, you can build vertically in the exact center or not. There's very little difference. I've done this 15, 20 times. gas. I'm still going to put up about six or eight of these, no matter how I do it. Even if I stack vertically, there's still going to be six or eight. Whether it's six or eight really does not matter to me. Not a big deal either way. But you can do it any way you want. Whatever works best for you. I'm just showing what works best for me. I'm going to hook up my pipes first. And now I'm going to run my power. I have to go back to where I last snapped my power to the ground, pick it up, and drag it over. Which is right here. seems to be right there. And I'm going to snap it to the ground right below and then run the power up. Snap. Pick it up. Snap, we have power. Snap power from the wall. Whatever wall you snap to in these cuboids, you won't be able to extend that wall anymore, so be careful of that. I'm not going to extend the wall in that direction anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Connect them all to the same power grid. They are all, all collecting, and the proof is right here. We have 682 per hour, and it's right on. Awesome. I need 10,000 units of storage. And I'm about to have to uh, find more, but my ship has more, so I'm going to park my ship way down here, way the hell out of the way. Thanks to all of the people who were doing whatever tortured hello games so that they put this in the game. have to dupe more and yes I do do things it's just the way it is you don't want to see it turn away if you do who cares I also modify my save file to do whatever I want to do because I don't feel like spending two weeks doing things that I don't want to do I don't mind spending less than two weeks doing things I do want to do and it's going to be the same amount of gameplay either way for me
It's just a matter of convenience for me. When it's you, you can do whatever you wish. If you want to do it legit, whatever the hell that means, then do what you feel is the best way to play, uh, like anybody cares. But I can assure you, Hello Games doesn't know what you're doing, no matter what you do, because it's an offline game. And even when you're multiplayer, it's multiple people connected to the same session, but it's still offline. Now, could Hello Games monitor the session? Yeah, maybe, but they're not going to, because they don't have very many servers. They have only the number of servers required to allow them to pretend to be multiplayer when they're not. But this is the game that they created, for better or for worse. This is what the game does. This is what the game allows. If they want to change it, they can change it. I assume this duping action is code that they put in to facilitate their testing. And that's why they don't take it out. Sloppy game design, it's sloppy game software design, but hey, whatever. It's here and I'm using it. And I don't care. If I had a machine in real life that would do things for me, you can bet I'd use it even if people wanted to make it illegal. Even if they said it was immoral, I would still do it because it saves time. And now I'm going to pretend I spent two weeks collecting resources. Because that's the way I feel. I feel like I'm spending two weeks collecting resources, because it probably would be. It takes time to do this. If you want to do it, whatever legit means. And believe me, if they if they patch the side of the game and they leave the save files intact without any changes, I would just exit the game, go to my save file, give myself stacks of whatever I needed, and life goes on. But I assume Hello Games doesn't want to spend two months or three months or six months just addressing these kinds of silly issues, I think they would rather add features to the game. And that seems to have been their choice all along. So it's their choice. They made their choice. I'm making use of it. That was the wrong thing to do. That was massively silly. Oh, I didn't take away two. I didn't have pipes hooked up yet. Well, I did, but. Okay. Gas. Sometimes I can go on autopilot.
about halfway there. It's going to take about six more of those. build there because I think I snapped something to it. Yeah, on the outside of the building. Okay. I can dig it. It's in this other direction. Well, about the same thing. Well, all right. I can always stack vertically, but again, there's a great little difference. And I don't care. Yeah, 1780. So it's looking like uh, five more, four more. Yeah, four more. Okay, I overloaded my power, obviously. So now I have to um, go and address that issue. I'm going to tear down my photocopier. and go and power. Uh, 
my doctor says I need more exercise, but I don't think it's going to happen here. Really? Is that where we're putting that now? Oh, really? Well, that sucks. We're about to do something about that, though. Alright, where are we in this uh, hot spot? Okay, so... Just in case I need more space, take care of this now. And then we can put more of these down. Probably gonna take four. Power's back up. Yeah, I'm gonna put down two more. Just in case. A little extra power. Not a big deal. Probably more than enough. Oh, now, do I have space? I have no space. Well, that sucked. Guess we'll take care of that later. Go back to my radon. Power's back up. 2550. We've got 11,000 so far. It's going to be slightly more when I hook it up. So I'm about to do that so I can get rid of my temporary stuff and wrap up this build. Keep going until it says connection too long, snap to the ground, pick it up, keep on going. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Easy peasy. Uh, I should have snapped as the ground, huh? Tend to keep the wires and pipes out of the way a little bit. So, snap the ground, pick it up. The 
get 200 units from the last time you snapped and picked up. There we are. Right about here. You snap. Pick up. Connection too long. All right, so snap, pick up. Now I'm going to snap it just below where I'm going to run the pipe up. Be right about here. Snap. And then we're going to snap it right here. And we have radon and emerald. We have a base terminus teleporter, so I can teleport in and out, hop between galaxies. And now I'm going to uh, pick up my temporary stuff over here. Pick up all three of my um, save point beacons, and this will be done. Make sure not to undo any wires or pipes and getting rid of temporary things. So I've got build rights where I need them. And now these temporary items I laid down to get build rights don't need to be here. capture one of those. I'm not sure if I can. All right, temporary stuff gone. This stuff that I didn't use into my starship. I could use more pure fair right now. What about ferrite dust? I could use some of that. Uh, pure ferrite, I could use that. Uh, Magma, I could use that. What about carbon? Yeah, I could use some. Yeah, what about gold? Yep. Powder. And sodium and uranium I don't need, magnetized ferrite, all topped off.
grab that. Um, alright, don't need to do anything with that. Hey man, I was gonna use this landing pad. Who do you think you are? It is getting to be lunchtime. I'm gonna finish this up and then grab some lunch. And this build will be Dunners. Uh, okay, so where is my. We got a purple one out here somewhere. I just picked up white. Oh, I gotta fix this one. I had a door here? What the hell? Well, that's unacceptable, man. Respect the door. Uh, where are my, my microphones in that direction? Awesome. Get off my pad. I didn't make those for you. I made those for me. You insulin life form. the trees. Alright, what did I hit? Alright, that is a done build. I'm gonna end this video for now. And we'll catch you next time. Right, this has been Cappy Smack. Please Remember to like, like, subscribe, and share. I could use your support, and I appreciate everybody who does support the channel. If you like the content, and you want to see more, well, you can. Just subscribe. <laughs>